Hi, I'm Steve King. I'm an applications engineer with 3M Company, and I'm here at CTIA 2014 in the 3M booth. I want to talk about one of the exciting new uh, products that we're showcasing this year's CTIA. So one of the things that we've seen in the FTTA, or fiber to the antenna market, is a, pr a predominance of factory terminated fiber connections. And the belief is that, well, it's just too complicated for the average uh, tower hand to say make a fiber connection at the site. Well, 3M intends to take all of that complexity out by providing two things. Number one, a very simple to operate fiber connector. It's toolless. So basically, the only thing that you need to bring to this equation is a pair of snips and a stripper. We also now provide what we call the easy cleaver. That's, an e that's a cleaver that's designed to operate with our new MPC jacketed connector and properly cleave the fiber so that it can be inserted into the fiber optic connector and the connection made. Now historically, they've had to use a fairly expensive cleaver to do this operation, but we're now providing this in addition in every box of connectors as an additional feature. It has a finite cleave life, so when it ratchets up to 150 cleaves, it simply locks up and you can no longer use it. Simple three-step process. Allow me to demonstrate. So, you open it up, insert the fiber in here, lock it down, step one. Then you close down the cleaving element, step two. Then you actuate the cleave, release. The shard is captured here, you can dispose of it. Then you release the fiber. It's now properly cleaved to the precise length. At this point, you would take the barrel off of the connector and slide it onto the jacket of the fiber. Pushing the fiber in, until the fiber bows slightly. That means that the pre-polished stub inside the connector is mating with the fiber that you are now trying to splice it to. Then at this point, you simply take the dust cap, as shown, actuate the splice, and then you have a fiber connection. You bring up the barrel from the back end, capturing the Kevlar in the threads, screw it closed. It's as simple as one, two, three.